go up and good as they open things up to a 13-point lead. Bucks at the controls. Oh, denied! As my old teammate RJ would say, stay down, clown. front court his team on top by 13 yes Victor Oladipo two for three now here in the first it looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going that is true But he's also finding his rhythm. Throw 
throws it down. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. To Oladipo, lets it fly from beyond the arc. He made his first effort, but not that time. To Russell. Great feed. A oh, big finish at the rim. Jay, perhaps that's the start. Those kind of plays get me fired up. That's a momentum play. They look lifeless here in the first quarter, but a dunk like that can get your team going in the right direction. The Pacers with four to shoot. Has a look. Over depot, not that time. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now, as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're gonna lower the chances of them making that shot. First one goes down. <laughs> No good on the second. It's a one of two trip. Bucks have it. Bledsoe on the pass. Stolen by Indiana. So important to take care of the basketball. Easy two on the other end after the turnover. And that is the sign of an unselfish team. When everybody in transition thinks they have a chance to get the ball because you have a willing passer, somebody willing to make other players on his team look great, that's only going to force your players to play that much harder on offense and give you more energy on the defensive end. Has a chance. Bledsoe shot off the mark. Oh, we got it. There it is. Basketball. Full throttle. He's locked out of the gate. Pretty. Right to the basket for the deuce. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Over the depot. Into the front court. Lead stance at 10. Fires the three. That's not his range. It's no good. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Hold the depot into the front court. Looking to make something happen. To Jaron Jackson. Gets it in the right corner. For three, buries it on the catch and shoot. Look, I'm not the one to hate. I'm the prime example of a bad decision that turned out well. Let's go with it up top. Down 11. Here comes the screen to Bledsoe. Shot clock, it's coming down to four. Now down to three from long range. That's off the side of the rim, no good. Cruises inside for two. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Bucks at the controls. What's up? Down low to Okafor. Rebound Jackson. Josh Jackson to Oladipo. Stuffs it down with authority. You know, at the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand, check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game, not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. Yes, Victor Oladipo, four out of seven. I don't think anyone saw this one coming, but it looks like they're trying to send a message. Look into their eyes. They're laser focused. They're playing as if this game is tied. Bledsoe shot misses. First quarter's complete with the Pacers way out in front.
Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. The Bucks at the control. I'm hearing a lot. I'm going to see how we're going to do and try to get on. Knock loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Scout with BC Air able to recover with the lock. Oh, he blocked that with authority. A drive baseline, but the shot won't go. Oladipo into the front court. His guys hold the commanding lead. Rebounds pulled in by the Bucks. Blocked away. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Hold the depot into the front court. We're a minute into the second quarter. Trying to cash in. Can't connect. Shot was forced. On the follow. Way to stay with it. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Russell with it up top. His guys down big. And he's not getting the call. And this happens all the time in this league. Sometimes offensively, you're tired. Stuffs it down with authority. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out, out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. To Russell. Here comes the screen. Russell, down low to Okafor. And counted at the rim. In the paint, you need to finish. Just like that. Oladipo into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. Nothing going here on that drive. You fucking Milwaukee with the basketball. Knocked loose. Pacers come up with it. When you're outmatched talent-wise, you cannot get outworked. Get that ball back. Get the ball back. Yes, Victor Oladipo. With that shot, he's five for eight. The NBA's most improved player was a guy that always invested in himself, both on and off the court, but he always put in the work to be better. It was a sponge for information, an insatiable appetite to be the best. But the difference is, he's believing in himself. Whether that's singing at the NBA award show or performing at the highest level on the court, it's safe to say that Victor Oladipo has officially arrived. It's good. Count the basket and the foul. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. To Adeta Kumbo. Great pass to set it up. Leaving no doubt. Slams it down. Now whistle. And Indiana is going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter.
substitution being made in this one. controlling the paint the offense is controlling the paint right now the defense needs to do a better job of making it more uncomfortable for those easy lays Russell to a dead Kumbo Russell to a dead Kumbo beyond the arc for three he was all over him. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Can't connect. And now he's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. First free throw is good. So he hits the first, misses the second. Russell with it up top. He'll run the offense. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the play. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. in time. That's an eight-second violation. Ideta Kunbo to Bledsoe. Let's it fly from long range. Can't get the bounce. Gets a shot up. The mark. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. I did a Kunbo. Send it away. Did you see how far he got up? He kept going up and up and up. I think he's still going up. Gets a look. Can't hit. I did a Kunbo. To Russell. Oh, he had him there for a second. To Adeta Kunbo. Nothing going here on that drive. Adeta Kunbo. Well defended. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. To Bledsoe. Russell. Slams it down. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. I did a Kunbo. Nice swat that time. Jesse racing mistakes left and right. Jaron Jackson. With the interception. 
you go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stand defensively, you try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you'll be able to stop a great passing team. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Kevin Durant at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Career 88% from the line. The free throw's good as they continue to widen their lead. Now the Bucks going to signal for a timeout as they'll take a moment to go over things here in the second quarter. Some contact there. Hey, look, pretty dudes can mix it up once in a while, too. I guess. Pacers, possession. Hold the depot to Jaron Jackson. Nothing going here on that drive. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Stuffs it down with authority. That has to feel deflating for the other side. They've really came out and made a statement so far in this first half. Another powerful dunk, but another easy dunk. When are we going to see some defense? Oh, lots of contact there. Still gets it to go. I was expecting the dish there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. Finishing inside the paint on that one. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Middleton to Russell. Nearly impossible. No getting through. Five, Ed. That's five blocks tonight. It's Indiana basketball. Oh, if you're a fan, you love the will and the want. Yes, D'Angelo Russell, three for six now. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Knocks it down for mid-range. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. To the rim, lays it up and in. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Russell into the front court, looking to make something happen. Here comes the screen. Bledsoe to Russell. Has a look. Russell with a shot, no good. 
to Jaron Jackson. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Russell to Bledsoe. Oh, they call the foul, Jay. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Oh, the Pacers come away with the steal. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Oh. Rushes down the slam. Ah, oh, Jay, no question. There's an unspoken bond there. Just on the same wavelength. And how about this? Sometimes a bad pass is a great pass when you have somebody as athletic as that that can catch that anywhere and slam it down. And look out. Big finish at the rim. Jay, you know the deal. Keep the touches coming inside. As long as that defense continues to give you high percentage shots, you better take that every time. To Durant. 4-3. Come on, defense. Durant. God damn it. To Russell. Nothing going here on that drive. Shot by Russell off the mark. To Jaron Jackson. Runners good there. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Fires the three. That reach is just about a second off. He got his hand in there a little bit quicker. That would have been a steal. Just enough in balance. And hits the first free throw. I like that, I like that, I like that. Second of three is good. From the line, it's all three of them. Bucks at the controls. Stuffs it down with the three. He was ready right at the two. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Nothing going here on that drive. Good. Off a spin. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Russell. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Deep three at the buzzer. A very one-sided first half of basketball as we are at halftime. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. putting up points in the opening half. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that.
these are the guys getting buckets for the Indiana Pacers. The Bucks did a lot of things wrong in that opening half. At this point, it's all about pride and mental toughness. A comeback is not impossible, but it's also not likely. These are the guys getting buckets for the Milwaukee Bucks. Game track. Assists. The Milwaukee Bucks are struggling to move the ball and create good looks for each other. What makes it worse is their opponent isn't having nearly the same problem. Player of the half. The film speaks for itself. He's definitely the player of the half. Now he just got to give an encore to get his team to win. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have off nights. Today has just been one of those nights for this guy. Here's our top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. All right, back to the second half. I'll see you after the game. Giannis with it up top. Down a bundle to Middleton. Here comes the screen. Russell. Free throws up and perfect. Trouble getting the ball across half court. Let's cut, let's cut. I did a Kunbo. Oh, nice find for the basket. Probably option three right there on the court, but every player is a threat. No excuse for that easy bucket. To Durant. Going to launch beyond the arc. Now that's a contest. Bucks basketball. To Middleton. Russell to Adeta Kumbo. Scores from the post. But most importantly, you have to keep the ball moving. Maybe run some points. need some more points, points, bro. Raise those bigs up, and I will hit the ball to me half the points, and I will need most of the points. To Jaron Jackson. Here's a chance from long range. They swarm Jaron Jackson. Milo, not helping Milwaukee at all. These guys down big. To Durant. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. And no, I need help. Because he can't shoot for court. Russell with it up top. He'll run the offense. To Middleton. And Durant able to clear the rebound. And you knew this game had a chance to get out of hand pretty quickly because of the communication. When these guys stepped on the court, Ed, they were yapping back and forth to each other. And that kind of communication, that kind of collective responsibility to one another, you feel that on the court. That's why this team is special. 
Oh, rock in the rim. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. To Oladipo. To Jaron Jackson. Fires the three. They feel this kid is tough. The fourth pick in the 2018 draft. Yeah, and what we're seeing is a brilliant offensive display. You have ball movement, player movement, and great shooting to top it off. You get those three things going, you're going to be a dynamic offensive unit. Giannis shoots, cashes in. Someone has to get into a zip code. Oh, he buckled his knees so bad, it didn't matter if he scored or not. That's a win for the internet. Oladipo into the front court. His guys hold a commanding lead. Now a steal by Milwaukee. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. Middleton to Adetokounmpo. Able to convert inside. Old school equals high percentage. Indiana with the basketball. Oladipo to Durant. Ah, Kevin Durant. Ooh, three for eight. He's got to do better. Kevin Durant, dynamic once again. And giving it to you any way you want it. On the block, from the perimeter, mouse in the house, whatever the scenario is, Kevin Durant has an answer. Oh, he's denied. Oh, big man doing work right there. Oh, bad pass, and the Bucks have it. I cannot get the ball for crap. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. With the basketball up top. His guy's holding the big lead. I want to be like, throw that snaps up. To Middleton. Russell. Reset here. Let's see what they do. To Russell. The Bucks with four to shoot. Short jumper won't go down. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow through to be cut short, which made him short on the shot. KD is getting on my last nerves. Another chance. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. To Oladipo. For three, not a good shot there as he misses it. Russell to Adetokounmpo. To Bledsoe from long range. Pacers secure the rebound. Durant. And long Thank you, KD. Five attempts from beyond the arc, but he gets that one to go. Welcome to psychological warfare, providing he's not taking bad shots. But if I were the defense, I would let him keep shooting it, make him think about it a little bit more. Perfect feed to set up the basket. And ISO basketball is becoming a thing of the past. Team basketball is back. And if you have that personnel with the versatility plus the mindset, game over. Dang. Snatching it out of the air. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. Hold the depot. Short jumper off the mark. Bledsoe to Adetokounmpo. To Bledsoe. They slow down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Has a chance. Wide open look won't go. Wait, I'm sorry. You get paid how much money to miss shots like that? 
That can't happen. Count it. And the foul. He is going to the line for a free throw. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Try off the mark. To Durant. Nothing going here on that drive. Here's Durant for two. Won't go. Bledsoe with the basketball. Looking to make something happen. To a dead Akunbo. Not that time. Hey, lock up, lock up. Trying to cash in. The shot by Noel off the mark. To a dead Akunbo. Hey, watch the screen. And he's fouled. Good play by the shooter. You know what? That's even better play by the defender. I like the foul there. Send a message. Nothing easy. He's going to have to earn it now. Giannis Adetokounmpo. He's got two shots coming. He struggled so far. First one, counted. To back free throws here. He missed the second. Pacers control to Durant. Probing the defense. Runners good there. But did you see the way he was able to do it, Ed? Did you see him constantly probe the defense by maintaining his dribble? Ultimately, if you keep your eyes on all the other defenders, they will lose track of where the ball is. That's where you slip a quick pass in for an easy dime. Almost, but no good. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Screen, screen, screen. From the outside, no good. Just seems like there's lead in the feet of the defenders. You have to bounce quicker to the ball to deter that shot. To Adeta Kumbo. Stuffs it down with authority. Here on their home floor, they're chipping away. I mean, does this crowd have a pulse? Are they even alive? Sometimes when you make a play like that, your crowd needs to get you back in this ball game. To Durant. Driving right to the basket. It goes down. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. The Bucks at the controls. Adeta Kunbo. It's a big finish. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. Here comes the screen. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Nerlens Noel trying to cash in on a three-point play. Not the best career mark, 62%. Free throw's good as they continue to widen their lead. 
Milwaukee with the basketball to Adeta Kumbo. Big kick right there. Screen coming. Adeta Kumbo. The pass set it all up. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. Oladipo to Durant. Screen coming. Josh Jackson to Durant. Beyond the arc for three. And in his face, Josh Jackson can't connect. To Adeta Kumbo. Screen coming. Giannis Adeta Kumbo. Now a step back. No doubt about where that one was headed. Pacers with the possession. To Durant. Takes stock of the floor. Down low, Noel. Nothing going here on that drive. Give him two points. High percentage. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Now, Dede Kumbo. Open look. Gets a look. Can't hit. The follow won't go either. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Durant Shit. to Oladipo. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I didn't fucking shit. To Jackson. Five to shoot for Indiana. Let's it fly from long range. Josh Jackson looking to take that next step in his young career. I love the pure confidence on that jumper. He takes that three despite the defender being right in front of his face. That's borderline disrespectful. I drive to the basket, but it somehow stays out. From the painted area, won't go down. That ends the third quarter. The Pacers are feeling good. Worst that jokes of all time. God, my wife told me to stop singing. I'm a believer, so leave me. I thought she was kidding, but then I saw her face. <laughs> <laughs> five hands decide to move into another house with five hands. So the Pacers with the basketball to start the fourth quarter. And it might be time to empty the bench, Jay. This game appears to be well in hand. And their starting five has certainly earned the fourth quarter off. They've been terrific this ball game. And this is the type of game where you find a chance to relax. You ice up, you watch your other teammates play, you applaud them, and you get ready for the next game. <laughs> Shot off the mark. Good defense. Russell into the front court. Down a bundle. My wife told me, don't get upset if someone calls you that. Yeah, much bigger than that. Most of jokes of all time go. My wife told me to stop talking. Almost. And he's not getting the call. For some reason, Billy and Garcia says... Here comes the screen. Oh my God! Shot clock winding down. Fires the three. Not that time. He missed it. Russell with it up top. His guys down big. Adeta Kumbo to Russell. The drive right to the basket. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. It's Indiana basketball. Shot from in close. No good. Russell into the front court. 
He'll run the offense. You and I serve. Screen coming. Giannis for two. That's no good. Here comes the screen. The Pacers with four to shoot. Has a look. Shot's no good. You have to like the confidence, but that was a difficult shot. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Indiana with the basketball. Here comes the screen. Slam dunk. At this point, if it continues, it just may be good night, Irene. And some, ooh, I like that, Irene. Mom. There you go, Jay. And sometimes as a player on a defensive end, Ed, you need to draw a line in the sand. You have to find a way to change the narrative because right now the constant theme has been too many easy buckets. Jay, don't deny it. You're an old soul at heart. Yeah, I still don't know who Irene is. Go back to what I John Cena. Screen coming. Five to shoot for Indiana. Going along beyond the arc. And it's rebounded by LaBissiere. To a dead Akimbo. Russell. Gets toughness right there. Physical inside. Gets it to go. There's certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7. Because either they're posterizing you, or that attempt can still be a poster. somebody with a fist what is that that's five fingers working collectively together as one that's how you deliver a knockout punch and that's what we're seeing tonight the screen sets him up for two attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off he needs to do more of that we need to see him penetrate get into that lane and create <laughs> <laughs> now preparing to shoot at the line. Okay, now we're on the home yeah, stretch. And you've got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. Right. 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 Nope, next first one does not go. Good recovery. Hits the second free throw. Pacers control. To 
Jackson. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. To Adeta Kumbo. Nice pass to get things going. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays, no one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Over Depot. That no good off the mark. The foul won't go either. To Adeta Kumbo. Middleton. It was right there. Hey, come on, man. Triple duty. Dude, we got... To Oladipo. Josh Jackson. Said, I think it's the right move. Durant. Oh, man, That's good D. Shot no good. <laughs> Russell. To Adeta Kumbo. <laughs> and he's found. Very close, Jay. The results, he's going to the line. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. Giannis Adetokounmpo at the line for two shots. He's shooting 40% in this one. Knocks down the first. Second one off the wall. He goes one for two. To Ola Depot. Looks at the controls. Eric Bledsoe. Now three for nine. In the paint, you need to finish. Just like that. Ah, oh, the monster stuff. The pass was really good, but what I love most about the play, Ed, was that every player that ran in transition had active hands, which means they were active targets. They provided a target for the player to deliver the pass. That's how you work together as teammates. Scores from the post. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Hold the deep up into the front court. His guy's holding the big lead. Here's a chance from long range. Yes, give the advantage to the shooter. It's easy to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch. But great awareness by the shooter to get those toes right behind the three-point line. Nothing going here on that drive. Eric Bledsoe, four out of ten. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Pacers with the possession. Oladipo to Jaron Jackson. Nothing going here on that drive. To the rim. Oh, Eric Pass as it's taken away. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. Adena Kumbo. From the outside, no good. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and the refs are calling it. Keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. KD for two. To Adena Kumbo. To Bledsoe. Adena Kumbo. And he throws it down. He's been a one-man show. But Jay, they're still down in this one. He's their lone bright star. Their only star tonight. Some other of the supporting cast members really need to step up. To Jaron Jackson. Giannis Adetokounmpo with a piece. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Lenzo with it up top. Looking to make something happen. And scores. Strong take. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Message received. Well defended. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe get a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. To Oladipo, has a chance. Oladipo's shot, no good. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the rest to blow the whistle. And his foot was on the line. It's 